Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to enable the USB boot options on your Packard Bell laptops. And what we're going to do, we're going to first click on F12 to see whether it will take us to the boot menu. And here nothing happens. I'm going to click, I'm going to restart the computer. I'm going to long press, then the computer goes off. Then I'm going to click the power button, then I click on F2 in order to go to the BIOS settings. So it's going to the BIOS settings right now. And this is what we do. Hope you're seeing everything very well. So when you reach this step, I want you to click the right arrow key. Then to take you where you see main. Then on main, you are going to have to go to F12 boot menu. And F12 boot menu, as you can see, it is disabled. I want you to click on enter, then the down arrow key, then click enter to save the option. Now it is showing it is enabled. Then to save changes, you have to click on F10 and enter, then the computer will reboot. Then as the computer reboots, I want you to click on F12. So that you can see whether we have got, so if it passes away, like, you, you first go and switch the computer off, then you restart it again. I want you to click on F12. So when you click on F12, as you can see here, it is going to take us to the boot menu. And this is what we have. Option 2, you can boot with USB. And I have a USB that has Windows. So here they are telling us to click any key so that the Windows installation can continue. And this is how you do it on the Packard Bell laptops. And this would work on other versions. So thanks for watching. If this video is helpful, please subscribe, comment, thumbs up, like, and share this video so that we can reach and help very many people. So you can comment for any help. So this system here is going to install Windows 8.1 on the this small laptop, the Packard laptop. And this is how the options are set. And this is going to work for you as you want. Thanks for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.